you too stupid to follow a direct order to shut the fuck up? So, if you guys haven't heard, there, there was a pretty deep and personal interview uh, with the people over here at Bloomberg Technology and the founder and the creator of Player Unknown's Battleground. Um, it was very, very deep, very personal, um, and we got some confirmations out of this, and it's pretty damn big. Uh, let's start out from the first part. Uh, it says, uh, Cheng says his company has had talks with all the major console companies about bringing PlayerUnknown's Battleground to a broader audience. Microsoft Corporation will launch the title exclusively on the Xbox later this year. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. See, once again, they could have stopped with this part. You know, bringing it to a broader audience, major consoles and companies. We, we understand that. But then they went into detail. Uh, they said, Blue Hole is in talks with Sony about introducing a version for the PlayStation after that. So after it launches on the Xbox later this year, at the end of this year, by the way, um, they will start working or probably have already worked on a PS4 version. Now, there's different examples of how exclusives work and how confirmations are and when things aren't com confirmed. Let, let's take an example. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, a PS4 exclusive. There's no additional version for you to select from. There's just the PS4 version. It's been out for three months now. It's only been on PS4. No other versions have been mentioned in any interviews from any of the developers or staff that worked on this game. Here we go. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, clearly, it's been announced for Xbox, and clearly it's been announced for the PS4. We can choose from those two platforms when you want to pre-order, if you choose to do so. There is no PC version. There is no Nintendo Switch version. There is only a Xbox One version and a PS4 version for Red Dead Redemption 2. And then we get to the third type of exclusive. So let's let's say this is a PS4 exclusive, aka console exclusive. This is a third party console exclusive type of deal. Only the two major platforms are selected. By that developer then we have this type of game this game first came out um it was supposed to be exclusive to the xbox then it went to windows store then it went to steam it flopped on all three of those different uh platforms and then bam they had to try to dry up some money and get some money from the playstation gamer so they announced the game was coming to the ps4 at the very very end of this year um let me see. So far at the end of the year that it fell into December 5th, 2017. I don't think anybody's going to be worrying about buying this title. Um, actually, I really do want the title, but I'm not going to be paying full price for this shit. Uh, so I would gladly wait for some sort of sale on the PlayStation Store to pick it up and try it out. And I'm talking about like 20 or 15 fucking dollars. Um, I don't know. I think this was like a year. You had to wait like a whole year. For this to come to PlayStation, right? The developer didn't really give any interviews talking about that version until at the very end. But a lot of people made the conclusion. A lot of people made the conclusion with Player Unknown Battleground. Once they saw it was coming to Xbox One, they I mean, come on, it's from an indie developer. They want more money and we have the bigger install base over here. We sold more consoles than Xbox One. You knew that they were looking over here. But Microsoft got to them first, and they probably had a nice suitcase of money ready to pay them up front right then and there. And that's how that shit happened. So, PC fans don't really understand that when a game isn't announced for your platform, you can do what PlayStation gamers do and not worry about it, and it'll end up getting announced anyway, like this. Dead Rising 4, and of course with Player Unknown's Battleground, 
or you can look like a desperate piece of shit and start begging like little ass babies on a petition that won't fucking work. Now, let's go over this again. Red Dead Revolver never went to PC, but it was on the original Xbox. It was on the PlayStation 2. Red Dead Redemption 1, it was on the PS3, and it was on the Xbox 360. And as you know, for Red Dead Redemption 2, it has been announced for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Now, I understand you guys are going to be salty. And I, I do also understand that you guys think that no other websites are covering this news for Player Unknown's Battleground. But don't worry. They are. There's a lot of them. Um, and I just wanted you guys to know I zoomed in to help you, not to help myself. I can see perfectly clear. I had to zoom in because that little part is right here on this big ass fucking interview as you can see very very big interview and that little tidbit is right here just a small little tidbit so I had to zoom all the way in so you guys could stay focused on the topic that we clearly were take talking about today um, so with that being said uh, you might as well get started with those dislikes it's all there black and white clear as crystal so you get nothing you lose! Guess what? <laughs> you didn't do nothing! 